What's up guys, welcome back to another LumaFusion video. A lot of you guys have asked me how I get so crispy, smooth and good looking videos uploading directly from LumaFusion to YouTube. So in this video we're gonna talk about what's the best settings for LumaFusion when you upload directly to YouTube and what settings that I use for my videos. So let's jump into LumaFusion and start the tutorial. Roll that intro. <music> Here you can see that we already have a clip imported into LumaFusion. And to find the best settings, we need to go into the info tab if we don't know what type of settings that the video footage that we imported has. And here you can see that this is a H264, 103 megabits per second and 29.97 FPS. And that it is a 4K video file. And you can also see that our project is 30 FPS, which is the closest that we can get to the video settings of the main footage. So let's go over to the Photos app and import some other video clips as well, which has the same settings as the first one we just imported. And you can now see that on the next clip, if we tap on the info tab, that this video clip also has the same settings as the first one we imported. So we're going to drag this down to our timeline as well. And let's find another clip that has the same settings and drag that to the timeline as well. So we'll end up with three clips on our timeline that we can work with. And if we now tap on one of the clips and then tap on the info tab on the right side here, we can see that all the clips has the same matching settings. Everyone has 29.97 FPS with over 100 Mbits per second and every clip is in 4K. And what most people are doing wrong before they upload their video to YouTube is actually applying a LUT or color grading which has too much shadow in it. So if you apply too much shadow in your clip and if it's too contrasty, you will ruin the clip and it won't look as good as the unedited video file. So what I suggest is to add a light LUT to it or some light color grading. And a quick tip is to color grade your footage first before you add the LUT. So once we're done with all the adjustments to our footage and we have a final video that we want to upload to YouTube, we're going to go on the share button on the top right and then we're going to tap on YouTube. And once we get inside of the YouTube movie settings, you can see the settings that's preset for your timeline. And since this is a 4K video, we need to change the resolution to 4K. And you can see that 4K is also set with a star, which means that the 4K resolution matches the sequence that we have on our timeline. And since the video files were 29.97 FPS, we're going to change the frame rate to 29. 9.97 FPS. The more accurate you can be with the settings towards the clips that you have in your timeline, the better video quality you get. And now let's move over to video quality. This is set to standard 50 megabits per second and LumaTouch has also added the Ultra which is 150 megabits per second. But what some people tend to do is to apply the maximum settings that they can apply before they render it up to YouTube and this might ruin your video. And the reason for that is that you filmed in 100 megabits per second or you filmed in 60 megabits per second or 50. And if you're going to go any higher than that, the program or the app might actually try to gather more information than that's actually possible to gather. Since you filmed with 50, 60 or 100 megabits per second, that's the amount of information that the program or the app can gather. So now let's move over to the next settings, which is the audio quality. And the audio quality is simple. I bump it up from 44.1 kilohertz up to 48 kilohertz. And the reason for that is that 48 kilohertz it adds a more clear sound to your music, which is often used by singers and musicians and all that. They usually go with 48 kilohertz. 
And now let's move over to the last settings, which is the video codec. And when it comes to video codec, most of us is using H.264. When I film with my Sony camera, I use the HEVC, which is H.265, simply because that camera supports that video codec. So if you have a camera which is not supported by the H.265, do not change this setting. Keep it at 264, which is the most common setting to use. That's how you make some really, really crispy, super good videos for YouTube. This is the settings that I use. I always use these type of settings and I always change my settings according to the camera that I film with. If I film with this Sony camera, I can use the H265. And if I film with my drone, I use the H264, which is the supported codec for that drone. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot about settings and, and what settings to use and when to use them for uploading to YouTube. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. And don't forget to smash that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.